Hello, my name is Adrian Richards. I'm the uh, surgical director of Aurora Clinics based here in the United Kingdom. Um, we're going to be showing you a, a video in a minute of me correcting um, uh, inverted uh, nipples under local anaesthetic. So I'm going to be showing you a series of operations I've performed uh, recently under local anaesthetic. So, lo so inverted nipples are very common. I specialise in correcting them and uh, perform uh, you know, 40 to 50 uh, of these cases uh, per month and I just thought this would be useful as a sort of uh, uh, a taster to show you what's involved. So here we can see this is just the uh, start of the operation and I'm just instilling some local anaesthetic under the uh, nipple uh, in this case. So I'm using um, uh, local anaesthetic with adrenaline in it and here I am just cleaning the uh, area. The local anaesthetics had a chance to work uh, now. So while I'm cleaning, it's becoming number. Um, here we are just putting the uh, drapes on. We've got a special uh, fenestrated drape, which has got a sort of window in it, which uh, gives the advantage of being sterile, um, but um, you know, good, good access to the uh, nipple area. So the first stage is to put the uh, stay stitch in the area. And you can see here, I'm just using a proline. Um, which what that does if you put it on a clip it sort of tents up the uh, ducts and pulls the nipple out a little bit and then I just mark around the base of the nipple and then I'll mark the 12, 6, 3 and 9 o'clock positions on the uh, nipple that's where my sutures are going to go and then cut on the lower outer aspect of the uh, nipple between the 3 and 6 o'clock position and then if you can see here that I'm dividing the ducts and as I divide duct, the ducts the sort of nipple sort of springs out um, then I hold it out with uh, this uh, cross uh, stitch which I've shown before which is a um, uh, monocryl uh, stitch which is um, inside the um, nipple so two cross stitches um, which lie inside the uh, nipple um, and then that's just uh, trimming the uh, stitch there so you can see that the nipple is nicely out there um, and won't go back in so you see it's really quite stably out um, and uh, is very unlikely to go back in again here I am just performing the uh, similar surgery on the other side. You can see the stay stitch uh, going in. It's very important you know, to get good um, stay stitch to um, uh, hold the uh, nipple and tent it up there. Here I am again marking the you know, circumference, you know, the base of the uh, nipple where I'd like it to be. Uh, and again marking the um, positions on the uh, nipple. You see the ducts are really very tight in this case. Um, so really this is a grade 3 nipple. And there I am just cutting a small incision at the base and again I hope you can see sometimes you can actually feel the ducts um, give and I'm using my uh, other finger there just to protect everything and here's my um, stitches going through and these are the temporary stitches um, which I'm going to hold the base so I tend to use, like to use a straight needle for this uh, nowadays and that I put two across with a knot buried in the base and what, it, what that does is really hold the base so the nipple can't go in, go in again so that's um, a very good technique and there I am just um, putting a tiny little absorbable stitch in the um, skin of the uh, nipple. So this is the final result. You can see you know, quite a good natural result I think um, with the nipple uh, everted uh, on that um, side. And then we just put some light dressings on the area. Here I am performing the procedure again. Uh, I'll just show you again. Every nipple is different so although it's a similar sort of technique it, vary, it does vary a bit. Um, here I am again I'm just freeing up, the, this is another patient, freeing up the uh, ducts and sometimes can you see the nipple sort of springing out there a bit um, as I just free up those ducts there because it's the ducts that cause all the tightness you see so um, when, you, when you free those up the nipple will sit out but you do need the um, stitches um, just to maintain uh, the uh, eversion. Here I am just again freeing up the ducts, you can feel them uh, with your scalpel and here I am again putting the um, cross uh, stitch in there just to hold the nipple out in uh, position. So you can see that like that, and that actually makes the nipple look really good when you do that. And that's just me tying the knot inside. This is the dressings, a uh, very simple um, sort of foam with um, non-sticking uh, material, a bit of gauze in the top, and then some uh, brown uh, tape which we'll apply as the final uh, dressing. And this dressing is going to come off. Um, uh, at about five to seven days following uh, surgery, and normally the um, you know the, the patient will take it it, it off herself. Um, so that's really how it's done. Um, I mean, I find it a very simple, effective uh, technique. Um, you know, there is some discomfort in the initial bit, but it's really not uh, too bad. 
So thank you very much for watching the video, which I hope you found useful and informative. If you'd like any more information about inverted nipple correction or indeed any other form of uh, breast surgery, uh, please uh, feel free to uh, contact us either by phoning us on 01844 314362 or directly by the uh, website which is uh, aurora with a, and a hyphen clinics.co.uk. Thanks for watching.